Salesforce is a publicly traded company. Please make any purchasing or architecture decisions based on our generally available features and information, and not on any forward-looking statements that may be made during this presentation. This video brought to you by AppExchange Technical Enablement. Welcome to a quick overview of Salesforce DX and first-generation packaging, the second in the 2GP Deep Dive Features and Use Cases series. These videos provide an in-depth look at the features and use cases for second-generation packaging. In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of Salesforce DX and first-generation packaging. If you don't have much previous exposure to these topics, these next few minutes will get you up to speed. And the first step in doing that is to align on what Salesforce DX actually is. Put simply, Salesforce DX is the brand name for a collection of tools and services that power modern application lifecycle management, or ALM, on Salesforce. Now, to see what I mean, let's consider a typical ALM cycle of planning, coding, and merging, followed by testing and ideally resulting in a release before starting the next iteration. And the glue that sticks all this together is source control a single source of truth for the artifacts that define your project. Now, it takes a lot of tools and processes to power this workflow efficiently. CLI tools, IDEs, dev environments, source-driven provisioning, CI-CD, testing, package management, and the key to all of it working is the ability to automate, both in a headless server environment and interactively with developers on their local machines. And the toolkit that Salesforce DX represents helps enable all of this for any project that touches the Salesforce platform. So what's in the toolkit? Well, there are really just three key components that you should, that you should understand, starting with the Salesforce CLI. This is a command line tool that's flexible, scriptable, even extendable, and it lets you interact with any Salesforce org that you've got a valid login for. It's also the gateway to services that support ALM workflows, like creating scratch orgs and building packages. And to do that, the CLI works in concert with an org-based tool called the Developer Hub, or DevHub for short. The DevHub authenticates developers and maintains accounting of the scratch orgs that your team creates and deletes. It's also the entity that owns your team's second generation packages. And finally, there's Visual Studio Code and the plugins for Salesforce DX. VS Code's an open source code editor that's lightweight and easy to use, and the plugins let it interact with the rest of the Salesforce DX toolset. And there you have it. So Salesforce DX is just the brand name for our toolkit, and these three tools are the heart of it. And finally, a quick refresher of first generation packaging. So 1GP is an org-dependent packaging technology that can either be unmanaged or managed, and there are important differences between the two. Unmanaged packages can't be namespaced, they are upgradable, and they offer no IP protection. Most importantly, contractual restrictions prohibit any commercial distribution of metadata using unmanaged packages. Fortunately, that's where managed packages come in. These require a namespace, they are upgradable, and they obfuscate Apex code to protect your intellectual property. And managed packages can be commercially distributed by AppExchange partners. In fact, managed packages, both first and second generation, are a key part of AppExchange infrastructure. Tools like the License Management app, Feature Management app, Subscriber Console, Publishing Console, and Push Upgrades are all built around managed packages. And it's this mission-critical nature of packaging that makes this deep dive into 2GP so important. Now, if you'd like to go beyond the basics of Salesforce DX and first-gen packaging, these resources are a great place to start. Also, registered Salesforce partners can visit p.force.com slash dx to view additional resources in the partner community. 
To learn more about the features and use cases of second generation packaging, check out all of the titles in this video series. You can also use the 2GP Deep Dive Trail Mix to find additional resources about second generation packaging. Finally, registered Salesforce partners can join the Managed Packages group in the partner community. It's the best place to ask questions and get up-to-date information about first and second generation managed packages. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on any of the great content by Salesforce developers.